What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp rendering extension overview for you. So in this video, we're gonna talk about an extension that allows you to create real-time renderings in SketchUp. Um, so last week, the guys over at ShapeSpark reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in uh, checking out their extension. And um, you guys know how much I like real-time rendering extensions. Um, that's something that I'm really excited about on this channel because A, they're just easier to use, it seems like, than using um, the extensions like V-Ray or Twilight or any of those that create more static renders and be just the speed at which you can create images so uh, I figured I'd go ahead and make this video kind of walking through um, what ShapeSpark is capable of that sort of thing so let's go ahead and just jump into it ShapeSpark is an extension that allows you to create visualizations with physically accurate lighting these visualizations can be viewed both on the desktop application as well as within a web browser Links can be shared basically anywhere, and anyone with a web browser can open them up and navigate the models without the need to install software or plugins. They can also be embedded into a website. Since the lighting is baked into the models, all the processing is done ahead of time, meaning that there's not a lot of heavy rendering processing going on in the background. Even on my relatively slow internet connection, I found that the visualizations loaded fairly quickly. I was also able to load up these visualizations on my iPad through the web page as well. It did run a bit choppy, but that may have had to do more with my iPad being an older version than anything, and you definitely could still navigate around the models. There are several great examples of what ShapeSpark is capable of on their website, which I'll link to in the notes down below. Their example model is available for download in the 3D warehouse. I'll link to that in the notes down below, and you can use that to play around with the settings. I found that the best way to get started was to start with the example model and use that to learn what the different settings do, then apply those to your own model. The way that it works is that you edit your model as you normally would in SketchUp, then you export your model to the ShapeSpark desktop application where you can edit your view settings. Within the desktop application, you can edit your various settings to adjust the way that your model looks. Settings include the following. In the lights section, you can add lights and adjust their strength or color. Light probes can be added to your model to generate accurate reflections. One of the things that really stands out about this extension is the ability to edit materials. You can adjust things like material opacity, add bump maps, adjust reflectivity, and more. It would be nice to see a material preview in this section so you can see what things are going to look like before you have to bake them into your model. Otherwise, it feels like there's a fair amount of trial and error associated with this section. However, having the ability to edit materials is still a very nice feature. Sky allows you to add a sky image to your background. Objects allows you to inspect your different objects in your model for faces, materials, and more. Camera allows you to adjust your camera settings, including exposure and gamma, which affect your brightness, and field of view, which affects how much your camera can see. There are several other settings in here as well. The viewer options allow you to customize what will show up in the web viewer. You can add preset camera views in this option. Finally, once you've adjusted the rest of your settings, you can bake the lighting in your model to finalize your image. The preview button will create a static preview image, and the bake option will map all of the lighting into your model. I also created my own test model to see what I could create. Though it's nowhere near the quality of the other scenes on the ShapeSpark website, it definitely still shows the promise of what the software is capable of. One of the things I really liked was when I zoomed way in on the metal legs of this chair, you could see the reflection of the window and the lights in the metal. So this is a very accurate light mapping within my model. Two tips that I noticed when I was working with this. Um, number one is to make sure to adjust your glass opacity way down for interior scenes. So if you're lighting the scenes from the exterior, make sure you turn the opacity down to allow all the sunlight to get in. Otherwise, you won't get enough sunlight in and you'll get kind of a blotchy scene um, that isn't well lit. Number two, you wanna make sure to apply a light probe to your scenes for the reflections to work properly. 
Min over at Architectural Inspirations put together a really good tutorial for this extension. Uh, make sure you check that out in the links down below. He really goes step by step through what the different settings do and everything else. I will say that creating good renders using this program takes more knowledge than using a program like Enscape because you have to adjust everything so that it looks the way that you'd like, but it also gives you the ability to customize everything to your liking. Once you get the light maps baked properly, the renders can look really good. Overall, it seems like a good option, with a one-time cost that's significantly lower than Lumion, and slightly higher than a one-year subscription to Enscape, but it's a one-time cost, meaning you only have to pay once for your license. Hosting is free for your first 25 scenes, after which there's an additional charge for more slots. ShapeSpark offers a 30-day free trial that you can get by visiting thesketchupessentials.com slash ShapeSpark. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Is this an extension that you're interested in? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.